banquet hall in northeast Wisconsin is known for its bar, which was shipped in all the way from Ireland. But as Local 5's Michelle McCormack shows us, it's possible that some Irish spirits made the journey, too. I had heard the stories before, but had to find out for myself. You lead the way, oh, though. Was it a bunch of malarkey? But there it was, in the basement of the Yeshwaban on Bowling Alley. A hand-carved bar that looks straight out of Ireland. The scenes depicted in the stained glass let you know it was for real. It was um, over 120 years old from a pub in Ireland. When we have events down here, it's the, the centerpiece for, for the whole space. Now called 221B, this space has been called many things from the salt cellar to the cobblestone to the bricks. The supper club days may have gone by, but it's still a place where many hold special occasions and holiday parties and where all eyes are drawn to the intricate detailing of the bar. The, the woodwork itself, just looking at the intricacy of it and how well it's held up over this many years and is just beautiful. The original owners created the space with items purchased in what's called a room auction. There's also a library made from the old captain's quarters of an ocean liner. And the lounge area, that legend has it, was furnished from the remnants of a brothel. And then there are the stories of the lights going out, even during some of the wedding ceremonies. People have had uh, haunted experiences. Um, I personally have never experienced anything, but there's been a fair amount of people that say that they have. Just noises, um, lights turning off, um, seeing figures. No leprechauns, no leprechauns. <laughs> At least not yet. In Ashwabanan, Michelle McCormack, Local 5 News. Oh boy, there's Michelle. Good story. Thanks, Michelle. Uh, there's no rental fee for that room, for the bar. They just ask that you spend $500 in food and drink. And Michelle tells us there is no charge if some of your guests are not able to be seen. Hmm. Negative.